Welcome to the online course Reducing Disaster Risk in Tomorrow Cities. My name is Sarah Höflich. I am the Learning Director at United Cities and Local Government. Together with Professor Mark Pelling, the coordinator of the Tomorrow Cities program, we are excited to guide you through this course, which we hope will help you and your city to move from crisis management to risk-informed planning. Across the world, cities are expanding at an unprecedented rate, and it is expected that this will continue. A great part of this growth will be in cities already experiencing natural hazards, such as floods, earthquakes and volcanoes, with little consideration of the existing geographical context and hazard profile. Coupled with the effects of climate change, this has the possibility of significantly increasing disaster risk, particularly for those populations that are marginalised and exposed living in low-income areas of the city. The consequence of this will be millions of new people exposed to disaster risk in the city. Nonetheless, with a significant area yet to be developed, there is a time-limited opportunity to build risk out of the city so that urbanisation can move from a force generating risk to one preventing risk. Tomorrow Cities is a peer-led initiative coordinated by University College London with the National Society for Earthquake Technology in Nepal and the University of Edinburgh, together with many other universities, community-based and non-governmental organisations and private sector groups worldwide. We've worked in particular in 10 cities and collectively developed the Tomorrow Cities Decision Support Environment. This is a framework designed to shape inclusive, low-risk, resilient cities. The Tomorrow Cities approach focuses on collaboration between academics, policymakers, the private sector and critically those people living in risk, those people who will live with the risk of Tomorrow Cities. For over 20 years, United Cities and Local Government, UCLG, has been collaborating with local leaders from cities and municipalities around the world, voicing their needs to influence global policy making and providing them with knowledge and learning opportunities. We have listened to our leaders and their struggle to change urban systems and services to make cities more resilient and prevent losses of lives and property that harm entire communities. Beyond improving physical elements like building, drainage, bridges, public spaces, protection of water sources, they highlight the need of building trust in the community. This trust is crucial to reduce inequalities, which together with unequal distribution of vulnerabilities continue to create cycles of poverty in our communities. As we look towards the future, we need alternative ways of conceiving and managing space and time in our cities and ter territories, and lasting alliance that stem from local level. This is why our most recent global studies, also known as the GOLD reports, identify pathways to foster urban and territorial equality. To achieve these objectives and pathways, local government needs support and capacity. They can improve the services and the way decisions are taken and communities are involved. The Tomorrow Cities approach introduced in this course can play an important role in achieving this. Along this course, you'll get to know the different components of the Tomorrow Cities decision support environment. First, you'll learn how to identify and collaborate with different city stakeholders to design, discuss and create a range of visions for the future city. Then you will explore how to integrate these visions into digitized land use plans that integrate science-based knowledge with community perspectives. After that, you will understand how the computized modeling of the TCDSE constructs natural hazard risk for different parts of the city. Finally, you will also explore different risk communication techniques that not only explain risk to community actors, but understand the ways in which decisions can lead to the reduction or the concentration of risk. 
Throughout the course, we invite you to reflect on how these components might be applied to your city or nation. The last chapter will explore these reflections to consider impact pathways that can help build risk-sensitive, inclusive urban planning into your city. By the end of the course, you will have improved your learning and understanding in three ways. First, you will understand the ways in which urbanisation creates risk in the city. Second, you will understand the effectiveness of existing practices for risk management to reduce or create that risk. Third, you will have acquired the skills necessary to implement new methodologies for reducing risk as part of urban development in your cities and particularly at neighbourhood level in the cities of tomorrow. We hope that you will enjoy the course and that the lessons and methodologies of tomorrow's cities will prove useful in your own realities.